Alright. World 2 of Donkey Kong Country, part 1. So, the run continues. This stage is pretty straightforward. You get the frog pet, which is my favorite. There are, well, five animals in this game. There's the fish, the ostrich, the rhino, the frog. Fish, ostrich, rhino, frog. And then there's the little parrot. But he's not as useful as he is in part two. In this one, he just holds a light for you and follows you around. So you can see in the dark. So it's kind of useful. And that makes three ostriches, so I get to play the little bonus game. If this was a real speedrun, I obviously wouldn't be doing this. So now, the objective is to get as much little icons as you can. Every 100 gives you an extra life. And hidden in each of these bonus stages, in every four bonus stage, there's a, uh, there's a golden version of the animal you're using and if you find it and touch it it doubles your score your score so i'm going to try and get as much ostrich icons as i can before going to the secret which is above the wall and there we go so now you get all this and i'm at 600 now let me try and get all the rest try and get as many so i can get six or seven lives depending on how many so it looks like it's going to be seven. Seven. There we go. And now it takes us a step back, which is fine. Seven lives for, what, ten seconds of a stage? There we go. Back to where we started. Get the G, that's another life. And don't worry, the game will get much harder. A little troll right there. <laughs> I promise you it will get harder. Now this is the stage that most of us kids got stuck on for quite some time. I know it took me a while as a child. And I haven't played the, the remake of the Donkey Kong Country, but I've heard it, it it's pretty good from what I've heard. And that it has elements from this one. So, I, I guess I should put that on my list. And I'm not going to risk that. That's such a troll move. Oh, got three fish. So, same deal. You just... Get a hundred of each, it gives you an extra life, and then get the golden version. Um, so yeah guys, how's life? What, what's been up? <laughs> um, if you guys have any ideas on what games I should do next, let me know. Um, I've had a request for Battletoads, and I am going to get to that. I just haven't had access to my uh, recorder for a while and I still don't but I'm just using fraps right now so I'll definitely do Battletoads next after uh, Mystical Ninja and this I'm just doing really uh, short and easy games well easy for me because I know them so well Battletoads I only recently beat when I was in college so I wouldn't say it's one of my better known games just get this right here. And also I'm having trouble uh, getting fraps to record Genesis games for some reason. Which is why I'm, I've been hesitant. It worked so easy with uh, Super Nintendo. Alright. Back to the stage. And it makes a start all over. So I kind of wish I didn't have two fish, but I did. If this was a real speed run, I wouldn't be getting any of them at all. But this is just a semi speed run, I guess. Kind of like a demonstrational. With commentary. So you can play like me. <laughs> oh, that jump's the hardest jump.
I remember dying countless times there. Got some broken minecarts in the way, just jump over them. Easy work. Uh, and... Oh, and since I went and got the, uh, did the fish minigame, it takes away the K and the O, I think. Because I didn't see them this time around. And they're not in my inventory for some reason. So I guess that's one Kong I'm missing. And I know I missed a, an extra life back there. I was trying to jump shallow, but it didn't happen. A lot of jumping. <laughs> Such a fun platformer. Arguably one of the best platformer games. Bouncy Bonanza. Oh, I jumped right into his mouth. <sighs> so guys, um, for those of you watching, I wrote a book on uh, how to be a good boyfriend. It's on Amazon.com. If you type in a... Uh, well, it's called... Oops. It's called Guide... Boyfriend Guide for the New... For the Confused Guy. Yeah, that's what it's called. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna switch to Diddy. And, uh... It's four bucks, by the way. I'm gonna... Uh, <laughs> I'll put a link in the description box. Even though it's totally unrelated, I'll probably make a separate video promoting it, but why not, right? So, put the tire on that platform. Now I'm Diddy. Just cartwheel anything that jumps in your way and go in the little crevice to get Mr. Froggy again. We're going to see a lot less of him uh, in the third, fourth, and fifth worlds. I think he comes back on the last one. But he's all over World 2, which is cool. And I'll probably start dying around World 3. And this is a uh, candid run. I'm uh, recording straight through. Uh, I'm recording totally straight through just so I finish, until I finish the world. So even if I die five times, I'll, I'll keep that on, on the record. There are no cuts, no, no nothing of the sort. Oh, straight up, bounce, bounce, bounce. Get all the bananas. And we're out of here. And we're done. Stop and go station. But there's a little trick. If you go back in the stage, it takes you to the end of the stage. So you barely have to do anything. And uh, there's no avoiding that. Sorry. And we're done. So that stage takes all of 10 seconds. And now this one. The music's pretty cool here. There's a little secret back there. And there's a way when you do that bonus to uh, actually land back in the barrel that's moving from left to right. I j I've just been failing to do so. Boom. Get the tire. Switch to Diddy. And the tire is for... Not that. I don't think that's what the tire is. That's what the tire is for. Now I can sacrifice Diddy or Donkey to go in there, but it's not worth it. It's just a mini game that gets you a lot of bananas. So I'm not going to bother. And then there's another bonus right here. Find the green balloon. Green balloons are worth two lives. There we go. Red is worth one, and blue balloons are worth three. Blue balloons are really rare in this game. Ah, cartwheel. 
You can delay your jump if you cartwheel off an edge and like along multiple. Oh, that was a bad decision. Oh, I thought it was a ditty barrel, but it wasn't. Boom. Another tire. So I'm just gonna very carefully and patiently move it to the edge. It's very hard to control it sometimes. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Now I'm gonna jump up there and get our friend, Mr. Frog, again. I never used to get that secret until later on. Diddy. Now I have to get off the frog. But if he goes off screen, he disappears, so I have to make sure he's on screen at all times. And when you're holding forward, he jumps up. So it's kind of annoying sometimes if you're trying to stay low with him. Uh, like right now. Uh, see, and then whenever he bounces on an enemy, he just goes flying, so there goes that. But straight forward. Whoa. That was an input error. See what I mean about delaying your jump? The roll acts as if you're still on the ground, so you can jump at any point after your roll. If you started the roll on the ground, you can't roll in the air. And we're ready up to the boss. We're almost done with this world. I'd give it about 15 more seconds. As soon as he throws the nut, you want to jump. And I'm picking Diddy because he's faster. He has better uh, aerial mobility. As soon as he throws it, just press, hold, press and hold the jump button. And then just jump right on his head. Straight forward as that. And we're on to world 3, so thank you guys for watching, let me know what I can do better, worse, thanks.